everyone and welcome back to Cooking with Alethea. Happy New Year. Today is New Year's Day and we are so grateful that we are here to see another year, 2020. Who would ever thought? 2020. But we're here and uh, what I'm going to be making for today is a uh, vegetable soup. My version of a vegetable soup is low calorie. Since it's a new year, you know, everybody is on the new year kick of, you know, eating healthy, losing weight, which we should be, that should be our lifestyle every day, really, of eating healthy. Um, that goes hand in hand. When you eat healthy, you can lose some pounds. So this month I'm dedicating is going to be soup month. I'm going to be making different versions of healthy soup. So I hope you guys will enjoy this uh, January month of soups. Today, like I said, I'm making um, my version of vegetable soup, and it's going to have cabbage that I, I shredded up. Not shredded, but I cut real thin uh, a half a head of cabbage in small pieces that I chopped up. I also will have carrots, shredded carrots, onion. I have like a, a one and a half chopped onion, and it seems like it's a lot of onions, but it's, it's not really because that all together will make the flavoring of the soup. I have some mushrooms cut up and I also have my mixture of peppers, green peppers, yellow and orange peppers that we're gonna make into this soup, put into the soup rather. Also for the broth part of the soup, I have organic vegetable broth soup. And I have my spices here, which is um, some adobo, garlic powder, oregano, garlic and herb with Parmesan cheese and black pepper. And I also have a little kick of uh, cayenne pepper in this uh, seasoning mix here too, herb seasonings. I have uh, one can of drained black pepper, uh, not black pepper, one can of drained black beans. I have one can of tomato sauce, and I also have one can of chopped tomatoes, chopped diced tomatoes. And all that's gonna go into the soup. So now we're gonna get started. I'm gonna put the cabbage into the big pot here and all this is going to really cook down and it's going to be very yummy and it's low calorie it's it's very low calorie soup um it's like under 200 calories for about a cup of this here soup it's very good like if you come home from work and you don't want to eat like a heavy meal or whatever late at night you can just have a cup of soup here vegetable soup and it's very good and very healthy. You're satisfying both your body and your uh, soul there. <laughs> so we're mixing in the vegetables here, the vegetable portion of this here. Once we get everything in, it's going to cook down and it's going to, uh, you know, simmer down into a soup form. So I'm just going to mix all this in. After this, I'm going to pour the broth in and I'm going to turn, I should have had the fire on already, but I'll put the fire on, medium heat. And then once it starts boiling, bubbling down, then you just turn it down too low and you stir it occasionally. So I'm gonna add my broth in now. One carton of the organic broth, like I said. This is very good. Vegetable broth. And if you wanna do chicken broth, you can, but I, I, I'm kind of on this, like, me, me personally, I kind of, I've been, like, on this kick of, like, not eating meats a lot, so I eat a lot of vegetables and fruits. So that's why I, you see, my cooking channel is, like, mainly, like, showing how you make different types of vegetables and fruit dishes and all, because I, I've been on this kick of eating healthy. And it's better for you going to add in our spices our herbs and your herb spices you know eating healthy it doesn't have to taste like you're eating straw you know you can come with different creations of it and you know to make it to give it a taste a flavor next I'm going to put in my black beans also with this since it's a lot of ingredients here I am going to probably have to add maybe a cup of water but like I said, I'm going to keep an eye on this. Once it starts bubbling down, then um, I know, you know, if I have to add a little bit more water to it or whatever. But um, I'm going to add the tomato sauce 
one can of tomato sauce, like I said. And I'm going to add one can of the chopped tomatoes. And these are the fiery roasted tomatoes, one can of, of this here. And this is going to give it more, added more flavor to it too. So we're going to be back in a few minutes as this starts to boil down and I'll show you what we're going to be doing next okay, to now it. we're back. And as you see, this soup has is boiling now. This is how it boils down. I didn't add no water or anything to it. It all the liquids in here and the, the cabbage as it goes down, as the cabbage wilts down, the cabbage produces water. So that's the soup there. And I'm going to stir this up. And like I said, you know, um, when you put your spices in here, that's what makes the soup, along with the vegetables and everything. But your spices, your herbs and everything is what makes this your soup, what gives it a lot of good flavor. So don't be afraid to experiment with the herbs and your spices. I'm going to turn this down on low heat, and it's going to simmer for about an hour, hour and a half. You, know, you can check it and you can stir it every few minutes. Now while this is cooking, I'm going to come on and I'm going to show you guys how to make another special treat that we're going to have with our soup, our vegetable soup today. Um, and it's called zucchini pizza, made with zucchini. So I'm getting ready to show you guys how to do that treat. Okay, here we have our zucchini pizza. We have one zucchini chopped up and one egg mixed up. You mix it together, mix well, and then you're going to add one fourth cup of flour into this mixture. After that, you're going to mix it well. After you have mixed the, the ingredients well in this, you're going to add your spices, which is the garlic powder, oregano and a little dash of cayenne pepper. And I believe I put a, a chili powder in it too, just a little dash of chili powder along with the cayenne pepper, a dash of that. You want to mix it together. After you have mixed well, It'll look wet looking. That's when you know you have mixed everything well. And then you're going to put it on a baking sheet. Before you do that, you're going to add a little bit of fresh mozzarella cheese in it, in the crust. And it's going to form, you want to form a crust in a pan lined with parchment paper. And you're going to make it into a, a square or a rectangle. Okay, after you put it on your uh, parchment paper, like I said before, you're gonna form it into a rectangle or a square. You're spreading it out, you know, thinning it out, but not too thin, because it's gonna make a crust. You want a crust-like texture. And then once you've done that, you're gonna put it into your oven you bake it 400 degrees at for bake it 400 at about 10 minutes. Okay, after it's done, you take it out the oven. You're going to put your cheese on top. You can put sauce, pizza sauce, and cheese on it if you want. But today I'm just doing cheese, mozzarella, and cheddar cheese mixed. And you just want to cover it like a pizza. And after you put your whole, your all your cheese on there, then you're going to put your uh, some more spices on there, which is the garlic powder, oregano, black pepper. and a dash of cayenne pepper to give it a little kick.
and once you have put your toppings on there, your seasonings on there, then you're going to put it back into the oven 400 for about 10 minutes or until the cheese have melted. And we're back with our final presentation of our first soup in January for the new year. We have our uh, vegetable soup that has the cabbage and the carrots and all the vegetables we put in it. And then also for a garnish, I sliced some avocado and put that on top of the soup, which is very delicious. And I went ahead and made some zucchini pizza sticks. And that's very delicious also. So you can eat healthy, guys, um, at, at any time. And it don't have to be bland, blah, or taste like straw. So um, there's many creations that you can create to make your foods taste healthy and be healthy for you. So Happy New Year, Happy New You, and I hope you guys have a blessed and prosperous New Year. And I will see you next time on Cooking with Alethea. And don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. I will see you next week with another variation of our soup. Bye-bye.